We want to we want to price carbon. We want to have a strong economy. We want to have a fair society. We want to introduce disability care. We want to transform our nation's school. We're rolling out the NBN so homes and businesses can be transformed. What is your policy for the future, Sophie? What does the Liberal Party stand for today? What do you stand for? Well, we, we, we can go through it. Well, we don't. We, there is a very big difference between the Labor Party and the Coalition. Do you, um, do you have them, very simply, though, do you, yeah, have, very, we, do, you have a, do you have a list like that of Of course uh, of we policy? do. We've got the Real Solutions booklet. There's over 52 <laughs> policies. <laughs> over 52 <laughs> policies. Well, no, Tanya. I mean, there are over 52 policies. We actually do want jobs growth. As the Shadow Minister for Industry, I know firsthand, visiting over 300 factories, why the carbon tax has exported jobs and emissions. Well, there has... 150,000 jobs created since carbon pricing was well, introduced. Well, let me tell you about manufacturing jobs, Tanya. <laughs> under, under this government... Under this government, we've seen one manufacturing job lost every 19 minutes. We've seen a red tape exponentially increase. We have seen the That's competitiveness... Right. Sorry? That's not right. No, it's not right. It's just see, another slogan. Tanya can just get on national TV and say, that's not right. It's no, just you don't another know. slogan. And, and, you think, and, and you think that's OK. And you think you can just get away with it, Tanya. Do you the reality really is... not like each other that no. much? <laughs> We do have a plan. We have a plan for jobs, and that is getting rid of the carbon tax. It is getting rid of a billion dollars of red so tape. So you lose a year. all the green energy it is jobs stopping, straight away. It is stopping. Um, it is stopping the boats because we actually believe in stopping them. And the problem is, Tanya, if Julie Gillard's record was so good, why did you get rid of her, and why won't you go straight? Okay, to we'll leave that rhetorical.